Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Um, do y'all want to do a challenge with me? <laughs> Today we're going to do a real time video, but we're, it's also going to be a challenge. This is a challenge from a cherry on top by Retiree3. I will try to link it down below. Hopefully I don't forget. But it says it's a May June three in a row challenge with a twist. So this has to be post. You have to post it on the message board by June thirtieth, I do believe. But this video is going up on the seventeenth. It says for the three in the row three in a row challenges month and next, so May and June, will be we will work this just like a tic tac toe. You must choose three in a row to use on your project. The twist is this challenge that you use, you have a choice in each box. So you can see she put like on this one, we might not be able to see it because it could be too far away. But anyways, it says ribbon or washi tape, paper clips or chipboard, bling or sequins. <clears throat> I'm looking at this row and I'm also looking at this row because we have arrows or brads and I can already see there's brads in my page clip or my page kit right here. Stars or butterflies. I know I have a star or punch. Um, handmade embellishments or ephemera. I'm going to assume there's ephemera in my page kit. I also pulled out a sketch. I don't know if we're going to use it or not though. So yes, this is the page kit. When I make my page kits, I do like to put my, I do like to make them a round of photo. So I know this photo of Gemini was taken at the Savannah airport, the Savannah Hilton Head airport. So I did put it in with some travel pieces. So let's see what we have. It looks like, okay, so we have Brad's, which I saw. Oh yes, we have ephemera. So what was that three in a row? Brad's or arrows, stars or butterflies, handmade embellishments or ephemera. So I do have ephemera, so I can use ephemera, brads, and then I can um, find some stars somewhere. There's starfish. That doesn't really go with the photo, but whatever. Um, so yes, I, it looks like I pulled in a sticker sheet, and it looks like I, oh, I love this paper so much, guys. How gorgeous is that? I don't think it really fits with my travel photo. I'm not sure, but that is super, super pretty. This is a Paige Evans. It just, <clears throat> excuse me, it just happens to go with this Carvella. I think it looks nice with the Carvella anyway. This is a piece from the same Let's Travel line. And this is a piece from the same Let's travel line. So this is really cute. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. You can see from our sketch, though, if I do go ahead and go by the sketch, then I am going to need a piece that will come along here, and then I need um, three strips for here. I don't really like how it hangs down below, so that part I'm going to omit. I don't, uh, that's not appealing to me. But I do like these. I think that's really cute. Um, I could use, as a background, I could use some pattern paper, possibly. Maybe I could use this as the corner. Maybe I could use that as a strip. Mm. I guess I could use that as a strip. And perhaps, what's on the other side of this? Nope. Perhaps I can use a piece of this as the strip. I don't know. These are going to be a lot of busy if I use those as strips. What's on the back of this one? Sunglasses. We're not going to do that. Nope. Um, maybe I can find a nice yellow in my scrap box. Hold on a sec. We're fixing to make some page kits here in a little bit because this is my scrap box. It's a Felicity Jane box and you see it is overflowing. So right on top I have a green but I don't think that really goes. Um, here is a yellow but I, it's a good color I think almost but I don't like the pattern of it. Let's just, can you see that? Let's just flip through here really quick see what we got. Um, Here's a, that might go with it if I could, if it's a good enough size. Let's get ourselves a couple options. Yeah, my scrap box, whoo, guys, ugh, guys. We've got lots of stuff we need to do with this. Here's a yellow, 
Um, it's kind of light colored also. There's music notes through it. I don't know how much I love that. Here is a KI piece. That might go okay. I don't know about, excuse me, I burped. That was, that was disgusting. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know about that pattern with this. I just totally flipped ahead to this other yellow piece. I don't think I like that one with it. We got this other yellow piece. Again, there are circles in it. I want more like, if I could find like more of a basic yellow, like without a lot of pattern, like maybe a stripe or something. So I got a crap ton, a crap ton of scraps in here. Oh, here's a pink, but we're already using pink. I don't think that I want two pinks. Here's a, that's a little bright. Um, let's see, I'm just flipping through really quick and I'm not even flipping, I'm mostly pulling through. I'm mostly skipping a lot of stuff. It's kind of an orangish color. Oh wait, I think I saw a yellow. How about this one? It looks like a crepe paper design. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, it is crepe paper. How about that? That would work pretty good. Okay. Here's all my scrap buckets. Guys, we're going to come back and make some page kits with these scraps. And also, we're going to pull in these scraps and also um, full sheets from a, a box of papers I haven't organized yet. because that box super needs to get smaller. Okay, so if we go this at an angle, and then we maybe have this as a strip. Let me put these ones to the side. I dismissed those. This is a strip. This is a strip. And then this is a strip. I mean, that's pretty good, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of paper. Here's a piece of paper. It is from a paper pad that I had ripped apart. Um, they're cute. I know I've already fussy cut these out before. I think this is from a Chamel line, but I don't really need it, right? So maybe I could just cut this edge off like that and say we're gonna do our strip like right here I have another ruler somewhere but I don't know where so say our strip where's our where's our sketch guys what'd you do with it so say we do our strip like right through here somewhere like maybe like this Then we need to have our pieces that we're gonna do, they're gonna come in like this. Then maybe from here. And then maybe from here. So we have one, now we're gonna break it up. Now we have two, and then if we move it over here. I really like this center piece though, because remember it's that big one that's super pretty. Um, I might have made this piece a little too big. Let's go ahead and erase that because that's this blue. I want, well, do I really though? Because I have this flower paper down there. That's fine. We'll go like this and then we'll go like this, like that. So this is going to be one, two, and three. So we'll go ahead and cut those out. I know number three, I'm gonna want yellow. Number two is gonna be that really pretty um, paper. And number one is going to be the blue. Okay. So here's our number three. 
here is our number two. Here is our number one. Now, I don't know that these are all going to look good together because of that corner piece I have. This is what I picked out as a corner piece, so it might not look so good with all of these. Let's take another look at it. So if I have this as my corner piece, this is my background, this is the center. It's gonna have that and that. I don't know about how it looks. This is the one that concerns me the most with this page. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and go with it. So this is number one. So I'm going to take my number one. Like this. And I'm just going to put some adhesive on it. I'm putting it face down because I want the other side of it to show, right? You can do this much easier probably with an electronic die cutting machine. I have several but um a lot of people don't so i'm just going to show you how i do it when i do it by hand so this is going to be number one i'm going to cut that out by hand okay this is number two i'm going to put number two that's not number two that is not this is number two I'm going to put number two face down because, see, it's number two when we are looking at it. So we want it to look right here, right? So we want the two visible, which would be face up, right? So just imagine you can see the two underneath there. So that's what we're going to do on this one. It's number two. Then we are going to have number three. Let's put number two down. Number two. Then we're going to have number three. And number three is this yellow piece. Now, again, we want the yellow showing. And remember when we cut our pages, we had one, two, three. And I numbered them, and they're facing up. So if this is facing up, just imagine you can still see the three underneath your paper, right? Like that. So you want to glue it down like that. This is also going to give it some definition because there's going to be two layers. You're going to have your layer of this that we cut out, and then you're going to have your real paper layer. So this is going to be number three. And so we're going to go ahead and just lay it down and cut it out like that. I'm going to turn my camera off to cut these out. You would just take your scissors. Um, I will probably use my big scissors because these are not intricate. And I'm just going to go ch -ch 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 and, and cut around them as best I can the way I had glued them down. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. <clears throat> Sorry it took me so long. Oh, wait. You don't know how long it took me. I was uh, talking to my friend Tia and also to my sister. My sister Debbie has been selling Avon. Jim calls her my dealer. And um, I've been thinking about signing up with Avon or for Avon with her. And then I have Tia, one of my friends that does pep, uh, Pampered Chefs. So I was thinking about doing that just because, you know, we want to look cute. And have good snacks while we're scrapbooking so yes I'm thinking about that okay now you can see when I cut mine I did it by hand so they're not completely flush per se but what I can do is go along them with my sewing machine and it'll be super fabulous so it'll cover up all those bits that are missed a little bit so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna lay this over it like that see how far up I need to go and I need to go at least up to here I think and then I'll just fold my paper like that and then I'm gonna just cut along that little crease um, I can rough these up so to make them look like if I didn't cut them straight or I can do like I said with the stitching what do you think I think the roughing up is probably better for a real-time video God, my hands look so dark don't they um it is uh, oops, 
sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not technically summertime here, is it? But it's sunshiny here, so yes. There's a little bit of a tan going on. Um, let me go ahead. I think we'll just do the roughing up technique because I think that would be better with the real time. So I'm going to go ahead and where my fold is, I am going to cut along it. Now, uh, I know last time I had to rough something up, I just used my scissors because my Tim Holtz distressor went MIA. So that's probably what I'm going to do again, unless I can find it handy. I think I might have an idea. Nope, it looks like it's not there. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's not where I thought it was, and if it is, it's way too far for me to grab it. So I can still take my scissors. I don't know, do you guys like all these colors together? I kind of feel like we should put in not have a pattern background what do you think this and this oh, i don't know they don't look super fabulous together but that's what i chose i don't know guys i don't know if that, that i 100 percent love that i think it's kind of a little bit of a you know uh, maybe a different card stock would chill it out a bit. I have French vanilla handy. So let's see if the French vanilla would help. French vanilla, it's a cardstock by Close My Heart. It's kind of a creamy color, which I absolutely love. I love the white daisy and I love the French vanilla. They're both super great. Check my link down below, which I say all the time. Check my link down below. Let's see if this helps out any. So that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, this goes here. I mean, okay, to my eye, it still looks a lot better, but I'm not really sold on this. But if I'm not sold on this, then this blue has to go, right? But I don't think I have enough of this to do a corner piece. Actually, I'm pretty sure I don't. Now, this is what I have. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get the corner piece I want. Um, hmm. We could just roll with it or find a more solid color that we could do as the angle. Hmm. What do you guys think? Let me look up through it from the camera. Yeah, it just, I don't know. I don't think, maybe we could use this as the corner piece instead of this, which of course now I have a piece that's all cut up, but whatever. So maybe we could use this one. Do we like that as a corner piece? It matches a lot better. Not as good though, but here we do have some pinks in the center that kind of look good with it. But I think that's the only one we have in this um, particular. We could go with this yellow that I had pulled out for the yellow one. Of course, it won't go all the way to the end, but we can go. Maybe we can do a set up, set it off of it a little bit from the side come down like this way but then we do have a lot I don't know what do you guys see that maybe we can center it ish like that so we got like half an inch on this side half an inch on the bottom half an inch on that side what do you think of that See what we can do. I mean, I think I like that better than the other options I showed. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Okay. So I apparently we're going to be having another scrapbook layout coming up with a corner piece because 
I already cut it on the other piece of paper. That's way better than what the other bits were. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take our um, scissors. These ones I need to clean. You can see that I've got goop on them. I need to get my undo and clean around them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use these to go like this all around my papers. I'm gonna do it around this one. And I'm even gonna do it around these like this and I'm in and then I'm just going to go ahead and put them down okay so let me go ahead and do that so because I know this noise is going to be super annoying to you so let me go ahead and do that and then put them down and then come back if I can maybe even if I could even set these off I don't know if I can if I can set these off as much as I've set off around the edges like that That'd be good. We'll see if I can do that or not. Um, this ends up being a lot higher up than I had originally intended. Right? But, I mean, sometimes that's just how our pages work out. Right? What I do with my photo. I can still stick my photo right there. Um, these two will blend in together, but I don't know that I care about that. Perhaps I can put my photo right there. And then maybe my embellishments can come out this way we think yeah let me just go ahead and wrap up all these edges and then stick them down and then we'll come back and that's what all I'm gonna do guys is I'm just gonna go like this all the way around it and then stick them down um, these ones like I said we can go to the edge or we can bring it in to where we have that border all the way around and now that I'm looking at this I kind of like it all the way to the edge even though we have the borders on this side I think it's pretty cool to have it broke the borders broken up with these pieces extending all the way out I think that's kind of pretty cool um yeah I think I'm gonna put them down like that that's I think is definitely what I'm gonna do so yes let me go rough up all this stuff and stick them down and I will be right back Okay guys, I 100% love this. I think this looks so good. Can you see it? Oh, that's so fabulous. I absolutely love this. Okay, so put a photo here. We need to back it on something. So I do still have this full piece. Do I really want to cut into it to make a border? I mean, I could. Um, you think we should? This is just going to be added to my scrap box. The other side is these sunglasses, which I am never going to use that side. I will tell you that right now. And mark my words, I'll probably end up using it because I just said, I will tell you that right now. <laughs> we can go ahead and make this our border, our mat for our photo. And then we can start embellishing. I love this. Came out so good. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Am I allowed to say that about my own stuff? Because I'm saying it. Love it. Okay. Let's go ahead. Um, I don't think I'm going to rough up the edges of this mat. So, I don't know how completely perfect it's going to go with everything else. And I don't really care too much. You can see our heads are cut off. Part of my head's cut off. Part of Jim's head's cut off. So, put that right there. Um, let's look through our ephemera pack. What did we say we were going to do? Brad stars and ephemera? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know about the stars because we have flowers. Or the other one I was looking at was ribbon or washi tape, paper clips or chipboard, bling or sequins. Let's see if we can find a title in here. You know, I like to use pre-made titles. Enjoying every moment with a chick on a water thing. Um, here's a pretty tag. I like tags. 
travel notes. Taking it easy. I don't have any other dark blue on there, but. It's another little tag. There's a bunch of tags. Uh, time to explore. Take the scenic route. I do like the colors on this one, but. I mean, that might work. I don't know. We'll see. So I don't really have any good title pieces in here. It doesn't look like. And then go. Um, okay. Well. What else we got? We have some stickers. So, Adventure Time. That could be a title. Fun Times. Curio. I like these suitcases. Those are cute. Life is good. How about life is good? Because is it not? We can put our title. Well, this says this one's a big title up here, according to the sketch, which I don't think we're going to do. But we could do the life is good. Let's see. I am taking this. Um, you put it on your stuff. What's it called? What's it called? anti-static pouch and you can put it down so that um, you don't have static when you're doing the um, heat embossing but I like to use it to take the sticky off my stickers maybe I could put travel notes under there that's just a little bit of drilling, but that would be fine. Um, on here, it shows the drilling comes up through here. Maybe I could just put the date on there and do the journaling up throughout. There is a circular line that goes beep around here. Um, I don't think we're going to end up getting that bit in. Who knows? Maybe we will. I doubt it, though. Let's see what we have. So we got ribbon or washi tape, paper closer. Okay, arrows or brads. So we need to get some brads. Stars or butterflies. So we need to get some stars, handmade embellishments or ephemera. And so we have some ephemera down here. Um, so we need some stars and we need some brads. Where are the brads that were in here, guys? What did you guys do with them? Okay. Now I love brads so much, but the thing the problem I have with Cartabella and even Echo Park sometimes have these, these big jewel brat. I mean, what the hell? Those are not even attractive. The, especially this color pink. It's not even attractive. This is not something I would ever use in a million years. You know what I would do with it? I would take this big old black marker and go in color and black because that pink is ugly. Yep. That's what I would do with it. In my opinion, because those big gems, they are not attractive at all. Okay, but there are some other really cute options. So, here's this really pretty blue. It looks kind of the same as this. You can maybe stick that right there. Um, we have some Paris stuff. That looks like a Paris thing. There's a scooter. There's a flower that looks like this. So perhaps we can put this down there as well. Maybe we'll stick it right here. And Eiffel Tower, Pineapple, Flamingo, Blue with Waves. Maybe we will go with, um, we got these pearly pink, which is kind of cute. I'm going to put a pearly pink over here and then this dark blue because we have the blue on this tag. Perhaps we can put this dark blue over here. I do like these suitcases too. The suitcases are just a chipboard piece. There are some bigger ones right here. On, and in fact, I might like that. On the sticker sheet, maybe I want to layer up 
this and then maybe I want to put life is good coming off of it because we're traveling and then the journaling actually calls for it to go right here I don't know I haven't decided about that part yet okay so I do like to thread my tags um, you can see right here, I don't like this. There's a pe big piece missing. Um, the way it was printed, you can see the um, this color along the top. I think that does not look good. So let me take my glasses off so I can see it close better. I'm going to go ahead and trim that down. Like that. And this one, it's okay. I'm just going to make these a little bit shorter because we're just going to put some thread through them. Crochet thread. So, oops, I just ran out of ink G tape. Lovely, lovely. So perhaps I'll put this right about here and hope it's straight-ish. Um... Does everybody know how to fill their ATG gun? So I get my ATG tape, ATG tape at some place that I can't remember the name of right now. I just, it's so funny because I just reordered them. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at my trash can. Because I actually literally just unpacked them. Tape Jungle. Tape Jungle is where I get it from. I just unpacked the order from there this morning. That's why I was looking at my trash can trying to figure out the name. Um, I think the packaging that it came in was too big and I actually took it and put it in the kitchen or the bathroom trash or something. Okay, so this here tells us we want our tape unroll our tape and we want our tape to come under ready we want it to come under around this one and then through this one like that I like to keep going around until I have these two um, you'll have two slits I like to keep going around until I have those two slits in there because I like to run mine through both those slits and it's too short so I'm just going to go another full revolution and then run it through and I go in through one slit out through the other and then I just wrap it around and I keep going until it has done a complete turn then I take this on and I put this on here you can see there's a dip here and a dip here I put those on the dip and then I turn it the opposite way of where it says open so you turn it that way and so it locks it in and then we've got ATG tape um, I've already stuck this down with what I had on there but we can stick some more on there so yes that is how you do your ATG gun in case you didn't know and hopefully I didn't screw you up too bad with my explanation um, I'm not really going to measure this. I'm just going to kind of stick it down, I think, like that. Okay, so we do have these two tags. Where'd my other tag go, guys? I don't know. Is it on the back of my gun? Nope. Okay. I'm going to have to find my other tag. This is going to call for glasses. Okay, so this I was going to put under here, and then I saw this, and then this seems like it is way too close to that side, so I'm going to stick it, I'm going to move it, because I wanted to use that. Look at that. I like the shape of that, though, so I do want to keep that. There's that. Here are my brads. Here is where... My travel notes come in. 
um, my other tag, guys. Seriously. I don't see it. Is it right in front of my face and I can't see it? Here's my love. Life is good. That is going to serve as my title. Um, is it on my lap? No. Alright, y'all. I'm going to have to turn this off and maybe even replay it so I can find out where my tag went. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I found it. $5 gift card to somewhere for whoever um, can guess where I found it at. If you're paying attention. Okay, so we're going to do these like that. And then we have these two brads. I like how that's set up right there. And then we have this Brad and this Brad. I do have the... I'm not using a whole bunch extra stuff because I really just like... I, I, I like want to put this on it and that's it. Because I really like how this looks. <laughs> I do. Okay, so I have some crochet thread here, right? I'm just going to pull out a whole bunch. See? It's a big, long length I'm going to pull out. What I'm going to do is I have it like this. It's folded in half, right? Then I'm going to fold it again in half. So now we have four strands. And I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half again because I like it when they get big. So now we have eight strands. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to stick it through my hole. And like I said, I like a lot because I just, it adds texture. I just like it. So we can go like this and leave it like that and like push this over to the back side. Or we can pull it all the way through and cut it. I actually think I'm going to leave it like this today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and go blurp. So I have all of that and then on the back I'm gonna take some washi tape and secure that I have this Maggie Holmes washi tape that I just don't think I'm gonna use on anything um, this is how a lot of my washi tape is used so I'm just gonna take this and put it over here like that and then the extra I'm going to go ahead all this extra stuff I'm gonna cut off like that so this is going to stick under here and then we're going to be layered up with this blue so the blue i'm going to do the same thing ish look i need some new crochet thread you can see it's almost ran out i'm probably not going to use quite as much because do we really need that much together i don't think we do so i'm going to use um i did it folded it in half and now I'm folding it in half again. And perhaps this one will just leave like that. And on this one, I'm just going to stick it through. I'm sticking it through from the back. I'm going to go ahead and pull it through like this. So now I've got this nice little hole or this nice little bit right here. I'm just going to tie this in a knot. If you guys want, hop over to my Facebook page, uh, my Close to My Heart Facebook page. I think it says Becky Bidding Independent, Close to My Heart Independent Consultants or something like that. Um, and post a picture of how you do your tags because I am always looking for new ways. So then we have this one. So we can stick this one like right there. What? That is so cute. Okay. So let's add some tape on the back of here now because I use this washi tape to hold that down I am going to make sure I get some of this ATG tape over the washi right because I don't want this anytime in the future to become unmanageable or whatever undone you know and this one I'm just going to put a little I got this ATG tape on it and I'm going to make sure I cover all this up by sticking it under there far enough like that Okay, so I like, maybe we can put this flower right here, and then maybe we can breach the blue and put this pink somewhere over here on the yellow. I think that would be cute. So 
So I have a couple pokey tools. Um, close to my heart does have one. This is one from We Are Memory Keepers. I picked this one just because it was handy. I have this one, and then I have a We Are Memory Care. Nope, not We Are Memory Keepers. Um, close to my heart, and I have Tim Holtz. Yes, I have several pokey tools. Oh, and then I have one I got at the dollar store. Looks like this. And the only reason I can show you that is because it is right handy as well. I just found it again today when I was cleaning off my desk. I know. I should clean my desk. Okay, so my brads are kind of starting to split apart right here. So I'm just going to push them together so that I could get them through this hole. And then I'm going to adjust this flower to how I think I might want it to be. I think I want the blue facing that way on it. So I'm going to adjust it flip it over and open up the brads so on the pink I like I said I think I want the pink to breach into this yellow part so I'm just gonna stick a hole right here take my pink and stick it through come on now this you got to understand is going through several layers right it's going through several layers because this hangs down even further so it is going through that as well so that's why this part was a little bit tougher now if you want to finish off your brads you can put washi tape over them what I'm gonna do is take a piece of paper from a paper pad that I don't like I'm gonna trim it down like 11 and a half by 11 and a half and I'm just gonna put it over the whole thing so I'm not gonna worry about my brads just yet Okay, so like I said, I really liked this right here. So let's go ahead and put down this enjoying every moment. Now we're not using this for any of this stuff. I just like the shape of it. I think it's really cute. Um, yeah, so I just want to get some of this shape in there. So I'm gonna stick my suitcases, and I can still see the shape, right? So I'm gonna stick my suitcases over that. And then on my life is good, I'm going to pop my life is good up on some foam tape. But I want to make sure I cover up all the bits that, you know, all of this stuff. So my life is good is going to go right about here on, I'm going to put it on foam tape. And then this one that says travel notes, I'm going to tuck it in at an angle like that. So we can go ahead and put this down. Like that. Very cute. Okay, so these I'm gonna put up on foam tape. Um, my foam tape preference is the one millimeter from close to my heart. This I think is not one millimeter. Actually, I can see by looking at it, it is definitely not one millimeter. I actually think this might be the tape I picked up at the dollar store to just to give it a try. I mean, it's okay. It's just very thick. It's way thicker than I like, but we're going to use it. But, but I will say my preferred foam tape is the close to my heart followed by this scotch. I really enjoy that. And this is one I just had left over that I, like I said, I picked up at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, I just wanted to try it out to see if I liked it or not. Mm. I don't love it. It's very, it just is very thick. But that's okay. We do have brads on here as well. So, it, I mean, it's, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to put my life is good right here. And this is actually, I want to make sure notes is um, visible. That's my life is good right there. And that's going to serve as my title. Then for my brads, maybe I'll put one. I was going to put them up here, but I don't really want the blue by the blue. So, I think I'll put this one right here. And then maybe the dark blue over on that side. So let's go ahead and poke a hole. And then I'll stick this blue one in. It just has random airport codes on it. It looks like it's saying LAX over here. And I can't tell what this one says. Um, I'll just go ahead and stick that in right there. I'm going to fold the prongs back to where it's secure. And then we'll go ahead and use the navy blue one. I think to finish this off, I think I am going to use my blue shimmer pen. It's called Sapphire 
come close to my heart, which I absolutely love. Now the shimmer in the Sapphire Shimmer Pen is kind of silver, which works out perfectly for this because the rings that go around these brads are also silver. So I don't really want to put gold in there. Now I'm not against mixing metals all together, but why? I don't have to, right? So let's go ahead and take this and put it over a photo. Let me get my Sapphire Shimmer Pen. This is a Sapphire Shimmer Pen that I have. Um, is pulled the lid off now I'm gonna pull it off away from my body because see I have had problems with it well not really problems with the pen itself it's just I put it back up messy so yes this happens um, so I want to go like this and make sure and I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit to give myself some juice on the end and then I'm just gonna go bloop, 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 bloop. And then I'm going to squeeze it just very gently and make sure I get some juice on it. And I go bloop, 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 like that. And I'm going to do it all around so it looks really good. Now, because I put it up dirty in the past, I'm just going to sit it here for a sec. I do have some little wipey cloth. I knew that was gonna happen. I mean, I knew I was gonna get myself messy because I know last time I used it, which was just like, I don't know, a couple days ago, I totally, totally didn't uh, clean it up. So this time I've got a little cleaning cloth I'm gonna clean my hands off with. It's, it's not like a Clorox wipe, because it doesn't have that strong of stuff in it, but it is kind of like a wipe. It's a cleaning wipe, it's not a baby wipe. So I am gonna just go ahead and clean this up because I did not do it last time. And it shows. So yes, that knew that. It's not gonna burn my hands or anything. Like I said, it is not really a Clorox wipe. It's just, it's a cleaning wipe from the Grove. So it's all green, all natural stuff. So it's not gonna burn my fingers or anything. I'm not gonna worry about any of that. You can hear my stomach growling because it's, I didn't eat breakfast. Oh! Hopefully I didn't just mess up my spots. I like to wipe my desk off with the cleaning wipe and then I like to go over it with a paper towel just to get up all the wet. Like that. In case anybody's concerned. Okay, so this is what we came up with. That's so cute. And then my journaling. I might have too much journaling just to go like this. I might have to go bloop, 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 bloop. It might take up all my white. I don't know, we'll see. Sorry if you could hear my stomach, I apologize. All right, guys, that is our real time for today. Life is good. It's also, oh, wait, wait, let's double check. Let's double check. Arrows or brads, we got brads. Stars, we don't have any stars, guys. We're not done. I've got to find some stars. Stars or butterflies, handmade embellishments or ephemera. So we have ephemera. I got to find stars. Stars, guys, stars. I do have a star punch somewhere oh my word if i don't die first goodness, my stomach is still going rawr. look at that we'll go ahead see this is how this is what happens when i do challenges i have to go back and double check um let's see what do we got what kind of paper we got so we have the back side of that so we got some light blue we can like make a star out of Bam. It said stars, plural. So perhaps I should do two. Because two is the plural, right? So perhaps we can put a star like right here. Works for me. It's an afterthought, but it don't matter. Star. Bam. <laughs> And then there, one more star. Where'd my other star go, guys? Seriously, Becky? For real? Lost my star, guys. 
What in the actual heck is going on with me today? What is going on with me? I got one of those ones right here. Okay. And here's another star we can stick like right under there. So we made our star quota with the light blue stars. How about that? Bam. Bam. Like that. Okay. Our challenge is done. I'm not 100% in love with that. Not gonna lie. Um, I feel like it needs a little something. Let's give it a little boop, 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 boop. There. I just gave it some extra splatters of shimmer pen. I feel like that gives it a little something. Yes, so we have two stars. Alright, now we've done good enough for the challenge. We did the sketch as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something. Leave comments if you want to teach me a little something, something. Because I can always, always take tips. Always. Alright guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.